I think now my, no, I think my, I, th- I think my opinion has changed from deadless. Oh, oh, oh. All right. We got a question from Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. All right. The, this question is from Jenny, 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 Jen, Jenny, 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 Jen, Jenny, 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 Jen, every spelling of Jenny and then Jen. I wonder what her name is. Hmm. All right. If you have any, get any thoughts, let me know. What's the one exercise, Papa Swolio, that you can get the most bang for your buck if you're short on time? Burpees! <laughs> well, most bang for your buck if you're short on time. A lot of people just go right for the deadlift, but I'm going to think. Depend, I would say it depends on your goal. It always depends on your goal. Always depends on your goal. I think now my, now I think my, I, th- I think my opinion has changed from deadless. They're so good, but I think it can get a little bit more. I would say bang for your buck if you're short on time. Could be a kettlebell swing. What do you guys think about that? Very similar to a deadlift hip hinge. You get some power. You get a lot of cardiovascular benefits, grip strength, deadlift too. I almost feel like, because you do get a little bit of a, you get a lot of that hip hinge, but the one exercise, uh, Josh says yoga, glute bridge, possible, possible. Farmer's walks are good. One exercise. And not a lot of people have enough weight that will actually Let's assume you have all the weights or all the access you want. Yeah, but farmer farmer's walks are so dependent on your grip strength, but they are dynamic and they're probably the most functional thing aside from deadlifting. I mean, you do have to lift the weight up to do the walk. It's a good idea. It's good. I mean, one of the things that I, I have bands, a, a, a way I do my calf raises under a calf block and it just like your whole body is taut. It definitely does. It's a good one. It does work at all. That's true. Let's see. Kettlebell swings need proper form. Sleep. Let's assume everything else is on point. Clean with a front squat. You'd need perfect form with that. Kettlebell swing. Well, at least we're on the... Yeah, you know what? Oh, Turkish get-ups are amazing. But not enough. It's You can get more bang for your buck, I think. You get more rotation than deadlifts. The thing is, with, with, with Turkish get-ups... It, that's a good one too. I was thinking that at one point because you get talk about you get rotation. You get from you. That's one of the most important things. See, deadlifts get you from to lift something up off the ground, but Turkish getups get you off off the ground from a lying position. Barbell squat. I would disagree with that. It depends. Push-ups, lots of variation. Yeah, these are good. Hey, there's really no wrong answer. Who, who the hell does one thing only? I, I always said deadlifts until I really started focusing a lot on kettlebells. And because I'm not doing any kind of barbell deadlift right now, I found a lot of benefits from kettlebell swings because you get tons of grip strength. Tons of grip strength. The problem is farmer's walks, you don't get enough glute activation. You don't get enough. It works everything, but it's very functional, but you get a lot of grip strength from kettlebell swings. I think the real answer is don't do just one. You really can't go wrong with any of them. So let's let's agree that doing all of these exercises in your program would be good. We're going to say it's going to be good to do push-ups. It'll be good to do deadlifts, kettlebell swings, deadlifts. How about that? Pretty simple to cover all those in your training. I'll topic my melanin is popping. I'm taking skeletons on closets and making new deposits. I'm in my element. No Ollie's, your children popping.